Hey beautiful people, what's up? How you doing? I hope you're fine and keeping safe. If you're new here, my name is Masha. I'm a YouTuber based in Nairobi, Kenya. And to my returning subscribers and viewers, thank you for always coming back and clicking on my videos. I really do appreciate your support. I'm seated outside, so that is why there is a different setup from the one you're used to. But I usually just do my videos, my sit down videos indoors. But today I'm decided to change the setup. And then I've tried tying my hair. And it has pulled the skin, you know, that these are the things that have come off, you know, they're really annoying me. Maybe I should just remove this hair. But it's not, it's not bad. Alright. So, first things first. It's been two years and five months of being a mom, proud mom to a handsome boy. Mm. <laughs> so, finally, you're probably wondering why I'm telling you this. And uh, if you follow me, I know you already know. But I am saying this because I want to put up my labor and delivery video as you have already seen according to the title. Many of you have been coming to my inbox, like uh, my friends and my acquaintances, maybe those ones who have known each other through social media, have been coming and asking for the video. <laughs> okay, I've not, I've not put up the video yet for that whole time we've been asking because... Uh, I could not even get myself to edit the video. I wanted that when it's time for me to put up that video, I wanted it to be me. I wanted to have healed. <laughs> I know you say that and then people are like, I funny what do you need to heal from as a mom? Let me tell you, that video gets me so emotional. Like I just look at myself and the pain that I was going through. And the way I remember how difficult that day was. I remember the last nanny trimester of my pregnancy. And uh, it just get it used it just used to get so emotional for me. My last trimester was very hectic. In the beginning, my pregnancy is not very stressful. As uh, if you watched my video, my second video ever on YouTube about being pregnant at 19, I told you I did not even know I was pregnant until it was like six weeks because I did not have any signs. So it was pretty easy. Apart from just fatigue, there was nothing else. So I expected a small pregnancy, but my last trimester turned out to be very hectic. Mm, there's wind here, and it's pushing down my phone from the tripod. I'm at the balcony, and the, I live beside a forest. So there's wind, and the trees are bringing all the wind, and it's pushing the phone from the stand. So let me just continue. I live and I select the video during editing because I know it is going to sound very windy. So where was I? I was talking about my last trimester. My last trimester was very hectic for the from 34 weeks to 40. Uh, those who have been pregnant you already know pregnancy is uh, 40 weeks. I think it should actually be, be said 10 months and not 9 months. I don't know because it's 40 weeks. <laughs> and a week has, a month has 4 weeks. So from 34 weeks to 40 weeks, that was six weeks, I was on complete bed rest because of complications that arose in the last trimester. So I was thinking of that and then remembering how the labor and delivery video, uh, labor and delivery process was painful. And I just couldn't get myself to edit, but finally I've been able to. So I'm going to tell you about it and then I'll be inserting the clips for you to see the process. So, on seventh uh, October, that is the day that I uh, that I had the, my baby. The due date that I'd been written for was fifth October, but um, the baby delayed by a day. So I thought the baby was to come on fifth. On that day, I only had Braxton Hicks. Uh, on sixth, there was nothing, and then on seventh, I had the baby. So I woke up. I woke up at six forty-one a.m. And what woke me up was uh, feeling wet down here. So I wondered what it was. Uh, previously, I had had an instance of bleeding that was uh, what had actually made me to go on bed rest. So when I felt that, I was really scared. I didn't even want to look. Then I put on the lights and it was water. And I had done my research and uh, consulted a lot with my uh, the guy now. So I knew when water breaks, that is the sign that the baby is on the way. So 
had already packed my hospital bag. <laughs> like I didn't tell you, at 24 weeks, Sissy, we had, uh, we had already bought everything the baby needed. Um, I thank God I didn't have to go to the market and hustle to get one by one thing. We just paid for a whole package and then there was a list that uh, I was provided for of the things that I need and then you pay for the whole package and then everything is delivered so you don't have to stress about it. So 24 weeks I already bought the things, I'd washed them, I'd even packed my hospital bag. <laughs> but at 38 weeks, I uh, when we're shooting the video of what you have in a hospital bag, we also added a few things and removed others. So when I woke up at 6.41 a.m. and realized that, uh, that the water was passing, I woke up bazoo, quickly had a shower, took a cup of tea. I'd been told to take a cup of hot tea or water that was going to help with the dilation of the cervix which is supposed to fully dilate before you have a baby and then that was us in the car the journey to the hospital began so let me tell you in the morning when i woke up i was feeling the cramps even as i was taking the shower and then took the tea i was feeling the cramps now that was like the first stage of labor the pains were not like very heavy it was just cramping so I didn't realize how bad things would turn out during the day. So I was just like, I so this is what uh, other older women always say labor is painful. I think they always pretend labor is not that bad. And, and uh, the other side, I was thinking to myself, oh, I'm a Hebrew woman. I'm not going to feel any pain. <laughs> On the way now, I start feeling some intense cramps. They're not light like or like when I was in the house. The cramps have now intensified, and the time between a contraction and the other has now reduced so that is how you know you're in active labor you time the time the period between one contraction and the other so now the time was reducing hey it was now starting to be painful but it was not something i could not handle so we get to the hospital uh we moved to, we go to the triage i am um, checked the blood pressure temperature everything they look at my hospital my clinic book the one that i was doing the Bobby? No. Prenatal. Is it prenatal? Yes, prenatal visits. Those ones that oh. you do before you have your baby. I had gone for all the vaccines, I had taken all the supplements, so now I was admitted. Now that is when the true labor began. Yo! <laughs> so before I was, uh, I was admitted, uh, um, they had to measure how many centimeters I was dilated. They found that I was already at four centimeters. Imagine! It was so nice. I was like, ah, if, I, if I'm already at four, I only need six, so that's going to go faster. So I'm not going to feel any pain. Hmm. Yo. <laughs> As we're coming, Bazo had already called Shosh. Shosh. Shosh is our Shosh. Shout out to you, Shosh, in case you watch this video. We love you and we appreciate your support during that time. During the last trimester and um, on the day of the delivery and even like uh, a period after having the baby, any time that we'll need, a, we'll need a long time, we'll always give you the baby. I really do appreciate, maybe I've never told you, but I really, really do appreciate your help during that period of time. You made it easier than uh, how it could have been. So, Shosh arrives at the hospital, uh, our friends are there, my sister is there. <laughs> She didn't even go to work. Um, the moment she just saw her that I mean, labor, she did not go to work. We waited for her. We were coming from Thika. We waited for her to do jam. She got into the car. Now we are going with her. So let me tell you, in the beginning when I'm just feeling the cramps, people are just laughing. But this is there laughing, making jokes. My sister is also there laughing. And it's not serious. The later in the day, we need to go serious. No, they wanted, everyone looks like they want to cry. Everyone looks like they want to die. <laughs> So now I'm admitted and uh, I'm advised not to sit down, to make walks. Church tells me to take uh, warm water that is going to help with the dilation. Then now we're just there walking. Hey, now the labor started intensifying. <gasps> For the next two hours, like from four centimeters to six centimeters, I was now feeling like dying. When I... Uh, now there was this time that after I've walked for some time, I go in and request to be measured again and then they found that I'm at six. I I felt like the, the world is going to end today because I already felt so much pain. And then I'm being told I'm only at six. So I continue walking, walking. Now that I got to a point, 
I could not continue working. I'm feeling a lot of pain. Like when the contractions come now, the period between the contractions has reduced. So when one contraction comes, you feel a lot of pain. I was feeling like something wants to drop <laughs> from down there. So I could not even continue working. I just requested to be taken to the room. So there was this uh, room where, which was the, it was called the labor room. So there are multiple beds there all the women who are laboring and also those who are going for CS or are being prepped there like the session of the catheter and all that and then they'll be, they'll be scheduled for the theatre then for us who are laboring you could just walk outside there and then if you feel like sleeping or or uh, doing whatever you go back to the bed and then after delivery during delivery now you go to another room which is the delivery room and then after there you go now to the ward your your place now where i'll be saying before you as you wait for your discharge so when i went back to the labor room i was feeling pain i remember they brought for me lunch i couldn't even eat lunch my sister came there then she saw me this condition that i was in i just started hey it was so painful let me not lie to you <laughs> i just feel like i was going to die so I had uh, already uh, thought about the things that I was going to do to reduce the pain and um, to just help me get through the process. So I had seen people saying they would listen to worship songs or they would pray. So me, I decided to pray. Thank you so much, Susan, by the way. She told me to just pray. I think she even sent me a prayer. And then she was just telling me, oh, it's painful, but you know what? You're going to, to make it. You're going to do it comes that day and I'm just praying like I really something but then the prayers really helped anytime that you start feeling like Aki I am weak I can't make it I you are now that is the time that you feel a lot of pain I think the devil is always waiting on your moment of weakness but anytime you're feeling like you're strong and you can do it the you're not feeling the labor pains being in, as intensive or maybe it's just my faith I don't know maybe you should try that so uh, I remember now after feeling pain like for a very long time, I told the nurse to come and check me. And guess what? See, I was told I was six. Then I'm being told I'm at seven and a half, going to eight. I now at that time I decided I'm not even going to walk. I'm going to lie there. I don't care. Then the nurse came and told me the mistake that I'm making is that I'm sitting upright on the bed. If I cannot walk outside, I should lie on my left so that I allow the pressure of the baby to press a lot on the cervix. That is going to enable the full dilation and I'm going to get out of there on time. So when I was lying on my left, yo, now I moved from seven and a half to eight. When you get to eight centimeters, one thing I was never told is that when you get to eight centimeters, there's no time between contractions. You're feeling intensive pain, extensive and intensive pain, <laughs> straight. I've never been such, I've never been through such pain in my life. It was bad. It's I was just there lying. Then my sister came to look at me. You know what? She broke out and started crying. <laughs> now I had to tell her to just leave because what the hell, man? <laughs> she tried to walk me and then when she put me down to on the bed to sleep now, she just started crying. Now I was just thinking, I was looking at her and I'm thinking, Funny how bad is it? Why is she even crying? My sister's never had a baby. And then Bazu came in and you know the way he's dark. Dark as 11 p.m. Now I was looking like he was navy blue. His eyes were out. <laughs> sure, she was the only one who did not look very scared. But I could also see that she was also scared. Um, I don't know if she was beating me. I don't know. But she's the only one who could talk to me, try to give me food. Let me tell you that Bazo, my mother in law called and then you're like, Wow, it's a progress and then you're just hearing me there <laughs> And then she's saying, Yeah, I'm sorry, I think now the baby is coming <laughs> And then my sister called, my mom called, I could not even pick my phone and then uh, she called my sister and then my sister is that but she is dying <laughs> And then my mom on the other end also got on the other side also got scared and then she asked to talk to me and then when she was talking to me I just felt the pain now coming and then hey and then she started telling me see don't die don't cry it's going to be over soon 
and it's ready to just hold on to it. So just calling on God. Oh Jesus. Oh God. That is the day you pray. I prayed in English. I prayed in Swahili. I prayed in my mother tongue. Cause what the hell? <laughs> what the hell was that, man? Higher. Ah, so for the next two hours. So it that was around nine. I just came when Bazoo came. I just told him let us just go and. Um, have me go to the theater because I can't do this anymore. And then uh, I called the nurse, uh, selling her, I need to go for a cesarean section. And then the nurse said, no, 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 no. If the labor is progressing well, we just can't take you to the cesarean section if you had not already booked an elective Caesar. Just try your best and just get it through. And then I was telling Bazo, no, 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 Kimi, we want to go for CS. <laughs> And then the nurse told Bazo, you're the one who is here, you're making her weak. Anytime that you're not here, she's progressing. But the moment you come here, she now starts crying. So Bazo was asked to leave and go and wait. So Bazo, Shosh and my sister left and went to Shosh's house. So I was told there, now my sister was just crying. And so she thought I was going to die. <laughs> huh. So immediately they left at nine. So, no, they left at 9.30 or 9.45 there, p.m. And then the nurse told me, instead of sitting down, just stand up, walk around, and I am uh, sharing you the progress that you've made. You're going to have that baby in one hour. But if you continue sitting, it won't help as much. So I decided to stand up, and they just took my first step. The pain that I felt... I had my curtain there near my bed. I just pulled down the whole road. The whole curtain fell down. <laughs> but no one asked me. I think they just understood. That. No one even told me for that. I think that hospital was so nice. So I highly recommend. And then I felt like going to the loo. Before that, I felt like uh, I felt sleepy. Imagine. So I just felt like I'm going to cover myself. And then I'm going to sleep. And then when I wake up, I want to see my baby. Imagine, so I want to see my baby and I've not even pushed. <laughs> so he covered my legs and just decided I'm going to forget the pain. But guess what? That pain is something you can't have selective amnesia over. You can't just decide that you're not going to feel the pain and you're going to forget it. You're going to feel it. <laughs> it was bad, yo. Hiya. So what happens? I cover myself and then I'm feeling so sleepy. So it doesn't make sense to me. But uh, when the pain comes now, the sleep just bamooses, <laughs> disappears. And then I felt like going to the loop. So I go to the loop just once. And I feel like I've released all my problems and all the pain. And then I go back to the bed. And then now I feel a very heavy pressure coming. And I just scream out, no! Then she tells me, I tell her to come and deliver me from the bed that I was in. And then she tells me, no, 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 just stand up, come. That is the labor room you need to deliver, the delivery room. And then uh, I say, I can't even walk, I can't, just come. <laughs> so she comes, helps me put on the sleepers, and then we go to the delivery room. Now it starts uh, prepping for delivery, breathe in, breathe out. So before I climb onto the bed, she tells me, just stand here and... Um, act like you're going for a long call and then if you feel like the baby is coming if you feel like you're ready because you're going to feel it climb onto the bed let's get this over and done with i i just hold the chumas the metals that were there that they have been put for us to hold and start the prepping process so when you're not pushing you breathe breathe with your mouth when you feel like pushing I did not scream, I did not poop, I did not do what, what else do people do that I did not do? I did not cry tears. Imagine the pain is so intense but no tear will come out of your eye. So the moment I go to the delivery room, I felt all the labor pain. I just want to have the baby and get it done with. So uh, three minutes, like three to five minutes of prepping, I climb onto the delivery bed. Uh, my doctor who had been working with me the journey because I'd been assigned one when uh, I had to be admitted. Two had blue scrubs, three had white scrubs, and then now there was the doctor. You just see, this is the doctor. This is the guy now. This, eh? <laughs> so, that is Killian. He's trying to open the door. 
I climb onto the bed and uh, with the pain that I felt, I'm just ready to push. And then, <sighs> in three pushes, the baby was out. I couldn't do it. I didn't tear, by the way. They're helping me relax the muscles on it and that I'm not pushing. It was very uncomfortable, extremely uncomfortable. But I thank God it helped because I did not tear. And then at 11.40, I had my baby. And then one thing about normal delivery, and then you don't tear. I don't know if it's just everybody or it was my experience. The pain stops immediately. You go back to normal. And then I didn't have a, a large stomach remaining, it's just a small one. And then when I tied the tummy, I was also tied with the lesson in like a week or two. My tummy had gone back to normal. I tried the first day, it was painful. I stopped. I tried like twice or thrice. I stopped, but my tummy still went back. So that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you again in the next video. Let's converse in the comment section. How was your delivery experience like bye